Hello everyone, my name is Sharan. So today I'll be explaining you about the Cloud API. Cloud API is a cloud-based version of WhatsApp Business API, which is by WhatsApp. The Cloud API is for every kind of businesses, whether it is a big business or a small business. I'll explain you the onboarding process of Cloud API. So first of all, search developer.facebook.com. You'll get the first link. Just click on it. As you can see, the developer.facebook.com is open. Here you can say login. Click on login. So it will be asked you to enter the details of your Facebook. So kindly enter the details and click on login. Once the login is done, you can see get started button. Just click on it. Once you click on that get started button, you will be taken to another page where it says to create the Facebook for developer account. So it will ask the basic verification details and contact information from you so that you can start the process of Cloud API onboarding. So just click continue. Once you click the continue button, it will be asked you to enter a phone number just to verify your account. Okay. Enter your phone number with country code and click on send verification SMS. Once the verification is done, it will ask you to describe yourself from the mentioned options. You can select the most appropriate option which describes yourself. Once it is done, click on complete registration. Here you can see a create app option. Click on it. Once you click on create app, it will ask the app type. So here in this case, I will select business and click next. Let's say if you don't have a business account, you can select no business manager account selected option from the drop down. So Facebook will automatically give you a temporary business page just to test the cloud API. Once you click on that particular option, click on create app. Now you can see a list of different products from Facebook. Just scroll down, you can see a WhatsApp. Click on WhatsApp section. So here you just have to click continue. It will do all the settings from the back end. Once you click on continue, you will be end up landing on this page where you can see a temporary token. Step one will be the select phone number and you can see phone number ID and business ID. And next you can see two number. So to which number you want to test the WhatsApp cloud API, you can enter the number here. Facebook allows up to five numbers to test the cloud API. So here by default, from the sender number, it will give a text number from which you can send the text messages. Okay, so this number will be provided by Facebook. So to, in the two number section, you can add your own number to test the message so that you can get the WhatsApp message directly. There are two options, either you can directly send from this panel or you can run it from the postman. Once you have tested the cloud API, you can see the fifth option where you can add your own number. So here you can change the sender number to your number. Once you click on it, it will ask the basic business details of yours. Once you click on add phone number, it will ask to fill up your business information such as legal business name, business email, country business website so once you fill all these details click on next after this you can see a create whatsapp business profile so here you have to enter your business profile display name time zone category of your business and business description once you fill all these details now you have to add the whatsapp number in which you want to register your cloud api so it is better to use a new number which is not been used in whatsapp account so let's say if you want to use your number which is there in the WhatsApp account, first you have to delete that account from the WhatsApp and then you can use that number for the cloud API registration. So put that number here and select the mode of verification. Okay, so once you click on text message and click on next, OTP will be sent to that particular number. Once the verification is done, the new cloud number will be displayed under the from number section. This way you can register your number onto Cloud API. On the next video, you will see how to create templates for the Cloud API. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.